It's the same thing with the 3,000-page bill. So 3,000-page bill is nothing but exemptions. Uh, the minute you get it, there's no point saying, oh, we're, we're going to pass the pay-go thing. But then every time there's something a little bit inconvenient, we're going to exempt it from that. Uh, and it gets, it gets back to the, the point I made earlier, Rich, that uh, we, are, we are voting ourselves a, uh, a level of government uh, nanny-stating that we are not prepared to pay for. And it's very simple, because if we did pay for it, we'd all be living in one-room apartments. We wouldn't have any cars, we wouldn't have any plasma TVs. We'd be standing in line uh, at, the, at the bus stop, uh, riding uh, in, in uh, hemmed up in there like on uh, trains in India, sharing uh, rooms that are the size of uh, apartments for people in the Soviet Union. It's because we cannot afford this level of spending. And that's why Judd Gregg is right. In the end, it's about the spending. If you're not talking about the spending, you're not serious. If you're talking about taxes, if you're talking about raising taxes to cover this, you can't raise taxes to cover this. Last time I was here, I, I, I brought up the point that uh, America has spent, outspent not just America, but American government has outspent the planet. Uh, uh, spending calculations for the next decade require uh, the rest of the planet to be willing to put 20% of the planet's GDP into buying U.S. treasuries. They ain't going to do that. It's not going to happen. So we've outspent a big government, American style, has outspent not just the United States' ability to pay for it, but the planet's ability. Whatever my differences with uh, Judd Gregg over, over the years, uh, on that, he's very, he's very clear-sighted. He, he says, no matter, you can't grow the economy big enough to cover this. Even if you had 5% economic growth over the next 10 years, which isn't going to happen, not with what Obama's doing to the economy, uh, there is not going to be a, a, enough uh, to, that still wouldn't uh, cover uh, the multi-trillion dollar hole that we are digging in ever deeper for ourselves. Thank you very much for your call. Let's, uh, let's go to Tom in Longman, Colorado. Tom, you are live on the ERD network. Great to talk It's great to talk to you. And it's great to talk to you, too. You're Tom. my favorite substitute host. Oh, that's... That's, that's a huge compliment. <laughs> really, I think yeah. I think that's like Al Gore's labored joker about being the most influential vice president, like no. Jumbo Shrimp. No, I'm just getting you ready for your pat-down. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're going to... No, you've I was, got I was going to say, I think you're kind of going on and on about nothing with this pat-down thing. No, 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 no. It's no, no, no. Now, listen to me. Okay. Now, the okay. groping of every airline passenger may seem a bit unsettled. Mm -hmm. But you got to get used to these things, and then there's going to be the don't ask, don't tell pat downs. <laughs> <laughs> and then you may not even want to get on the plane. Right. You might want to just drive home, have a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think so, but you can't even do that, by the way, in the sterile area. I know, that's you, true. You, you well, can't have a cigarette hey, well, I'm speaking as a guy who went to and if, and if the doctor hand me cigarettes to being told uh, I'm being executed by smoke. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the way it's gone. That's the way it goes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and by the way, if you are at an airport and uh, you do enjoy the pat down and, uh, and, and, you start, and you start to think, wow, the earth is moving for me, uh, know that... That is like the guy they didn't pat down, just like sneaking through with the BTN in his pants. So, uh, so if the earth does move for you, and oh, uh, it's not, it's not a, uh, it's not a good, uh, not a good thing, Tom. Hey, Mark, I have a question for you. Okay. Can I get your past articles anywhere? Because you had a brilliant piece on the Clintons, and you were comparing them to a Mary Tyler Moore show. Really? Yeah. Remember that article? I remember actually uh, when Hillary was trying to reinvent herself. Uh, do you remember when she was doing her, her New York? listening to her. and she was the yeah, I remember who can turn the world up with a smile I thought it was yeah. a really good piece, but I'd love to have it Hillary Tyler Clinton uh, Mary Rodham Moore whatever it was I, I it's it's blurry it's a long time ago it's uh, it'll take a while to swim into focus you might I, I yeah I do remember writing that that was the 2000 I it was brilliant that was my first thing I read like yeah well uh, that's my brother sent me that was 
brilliant. That's 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 good. That's the uh, no. That's two thousand. So you've only been reading me for ten. Oh, you should have seen. Yeah. It. I was past my best by then. The early nineties was good. The early nineties. And actually, no, 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 no. You're right. No, that too wasn't actually up to maybe like the uh, mid fifties. I think. Actually, my my column on the uh, relief of Mafeking in uh, eighteen ninety seven during the Boer War. Uh, eighteen ninety nine during the Boer War. That was the best one. It's, uh, it's, uh, now I feel like those, you know, Hollywood. I saw poor old Mira Sorvino being interviewed in the taxi. And you know, they show you the TV in the taxi now, and they had Mira Sorvino, the actress who, who won a Best Supporting Actress, like in 19, uh, Austin, 1994, and they were interviewing her, and she had a new movie out, and so, like, they dispensed with the new movie in about, like, five seconds, and then asked her about all these movies she made in the early 90s. I feel like that with Tom from London, Colorado. I feel, it's like, it's like, it's like, for substitute host that's like the lifetime achievement award because you haven't done anything good in the last 20 years uh, but, uh, but i'll try to keep my spirits up uh mark stein in for rush on the eib network monica you are listening to the eib network so do you think gold will double again? In a recent CNN Money interview, the former chief economist of Merrill Lynch thinks gold will double again. So I called Kevin Demerit for his comments. Well, Larry, now that government central banks are gold buyers, I have never been more convinced gold will double again. Wait, so government banks are buying gold? That's right. They bought more gold last year than in any time since 1964. Should investors do the same thing? Well, all the Federal Reserve has to do to create paper money is press a button. I want to own real assets when the printing presses are running. So what's going to drive gold? Ultimately, I think inflation. There's some people who think gold may be overvalued. Well, Larry, I love hearing that kind of information. There is nothing worse for a market than all investors already in. Is that why gold goes higher? That's right. There are a lot of investors and institutions who do not own gold yet, but a heck of a lot of good reasons to buy gold now. Is there a no-risk way for Russian listeners to learn more? Well, if they call for a free gold advantage investor's guide and there's no obligation, they'll learn some of today's best gold strategies, how to add gold to their retirement accounts, and how easy gold is to buy and sell. Call Lear Capital, the exclusive gold company of the Rush Limbaugh Show, at 1-800-957-GOLD for their free gold advantage investor's guide. That's 1-800-957-4653. 800-957-4653. That's 800-957-GOLD. Why did an attorney's wife go to LegalZoom.com? Mary Ann of Connecticut writes, My attorney husband certainly could have prepared her will, but he never had the time. Mary visited LegalZoom, answered some simple questions, and her will was carefully prepared and in her hands the next day. And her attorney husband was very impressed. LegalZoom is the law firm. They provide self-help services in your specific direction. For more savings, enter Rush with the referral box at checkout. LegalZoom.com. Oh, and tune in to The Will, a new show on investigation discovery. Marion County, Humana Gold Plus HMO. It's a health plan with a Medicare contract. It's available where you live. A plan that may give you choice and value in a comprehensive Medicare health plan. You get all the coverage you would get with original Medicare, plus much more. But that's not all. The benefits list is too long to cover here. So look for more information in your mailbox. Best of all, Humana Gold Plus HMO comes from Humana, a company with over 20 years experience in Medicare. Now, don't miss out. Call 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week, toll free, 1-800-336-6792. For coverage beginning January 1st, 2011, you need to enroll by December 31st. Some exceptions may apply. Again, call 1-800-336-6792. That's one 800 336 Notice on our biggest event of the year. After all, with over 30 years of amazing deals and a huge selection of quality Toyotas, everyone's going. And right now during Toyota Thon, get 0% APR financing for 60 months on many of your favorite models. Like a new fuel-efficient 2011 Camry for finance savings up to $3,300. That's up to 